Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at some people who did not have the best luck with animals. I'm actually a victim of animal abuse. Whenever I was like 14, I got chased by a donkey and I'm not kidding, I thought I was gonna die. Hi. That cow's gonna kick him, isn't it? Maybe I'll try riding. Oh no, don't, don't do that. Body. Don't do that. Do not try to ride that. Do not try to ride an animal. I'm telling you right now, that animal's gonna run off and he's gonna fall into that muddy puddle or he's gonna get flicked off. The one thing about these pigs, they love the mud. Oh my god, that's a pig. I thought it was a cow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that dog is me. But... <laughs> It just flung him. Nah, I'm sorry. I did not expect that to be a pig. Why do pigs have hair? I've never seen a ginger pig before. I mean, to be fair, whenever I think of pigs, I just think of bacon, which I had for dinner, or Peppa Pig. Oh my God, the cats were trying to get the cheeseburger. Oh, oh, oh my God, that cat is sassy. Did you see the way I proper jumped in? I mean, I feel like with dogs, like it's a lot easier to push them off. But like cats, they are like mini babies. They are quite light and they can proper zoom around the room. Here's a little guilty secret of mine, which I've never really told anyone. Whenever I was younger, I used to have a dog called Molly. She died when I was like 14. But if I ever had dinner, I would always make sure to like leave half of it. And then my parents would leave the room and I'd feed it to her. So yeah, my dog used to get proper big dinners every night. But look at that cat. It's just like climbing all over him. And they took a bite. Give me my burger. That is not a cat. That's a this human. Is what I deal with every time I eat. I mean, to be fair, my only advice for you is to lock the animals out of the room. Thinking about it now, has my dog ever tried to snatch something like that out of my hand? My mum told me a story about whenever she was younger, she had a dog and it ate her beans and toast or cheese and toast. But I mean, my dog never done something that extreme. Negan steals my food. You'd think I'd be a thinner human being with this little shit. I mean, to be fair, you were kind of letting the cat do it. Like, it's not like you're trying to fling it off. Next time, just don't let the cat in the room. Wait, why is that dog trying to bite that cat? Oh! Oh my god. Now, I'm sorry, that is not funny. That dog just bit his nipple. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, I didn't like that. That dog, oh. I thought the dog was going to jump it in. Oh, look at the look it's given the owner. That dog is up to something. And it went in to grab her breasts as well. Nah, I'm sorry, these animals are not animals. They're secretly humans. That dog proper tried to take her bra off. Okay, we got CCTV. I see a person running. Oh, are they getting chased by a dog? Now they're gonna run into each other. Oh, I was taken out by a dog whenever I was younger. I think I was like four or five. I can't remember what type of dog it was, but mum told me it was like a big Labrador thing. It was one of them big dogs, but basically I was stood and it ran up to me and took me out. I always see dogs doing that. Like they've got their own eyes, cannot see the person running. Hello. The dog's gonna run off. You're not going anywhere. Oh. Oh. It looks like you were going somewhere. Oh, who was that person at the end? I mean, she nearly got taken out. Has anyone else seen that video of like that old woman who gets like taken out by the dog? I'll put it up in the screen right now, but basically there was like an old woman and like a dog ran and she went flying. No, this is a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin for Boo. For Boo and for Arthur. Yes. Pirates kind of scare me. Oh. <laughs> I just love how that cut off of her cursing. Did the pirate like bite her ear? Something about pirates really freaked me out. I don't know what it is, but it's the fact that it can speak to you. Okay, so what's that pirate doing? I think it is nibbling on her. Yes! It's a pumpkin. Oh yeah, it is! Oh my god, yeah, why'd it do that? Nah, I'm sorry, I need to deep fat fry that pirate and make it into pirate stew. We got some ASMR, I think. It's very unsatisfying. Ooh. Oh! Wait, was that a cat? That cat just put its paw in that person's dessert. Yet again, cats say, do you ever think to sabotage your life? Cats are so unpredictable. Like, I love them, but then I also kind of hate them. It's the fact that they can literally walk over to you, lie in their back, shoot their belly, you go in to stroke it, and then they bite you. They're unpredictable. They're going to try and lift it. It's going to scream. Or is it? Oh. Oh my god, wait, why is it so evil? Yet again, what is up with these pigs? Why are they so evil? I mean, whenever I think of a pig, that's what I say. Not that pig at the start of the video. Oh, damn, yet again, the dog's proper pull yet are proper powerful, aren't they? I mean, my dog was a wee collie, so she wasn't that strong. But it's quite crazy how, like, these grown-ass men are getting tugged by a dog. Oh, I heard that dog growl. 
<laughs> Why is it growling? Oh, it's holding on to that talk. It's not letting go. Why is it holding on to the sock? I mean, to be fair, that dog licked on with fly. Something I always see people talking about, you know, whenever dogs growl like that, really doing it in a playful way or an aggressive way. Growing up, I would kind of torture my dog and she'd growl like that, kind of like a warning growl, but she'd never bite me. But there were also other times where I'd be playing with her and she'd growl like that. I don't know, sometimes dogs can be unpredictable. Good thing, but it's Valentine's Day. The dog or the cat is gonna attack her, watch this. She loves Valentine's Day. I don't think she does love Valentine's Day, does she? Yet again, it's the fact that the cat was sat still. She was kissing it and it went in to bite her. Satan, the only thing inside them cats is Satan. Oh, okay, we got a girl doing gymnastics and a dog. It's gonna get in our way. What is she trying to do? Is this meant to be some type of like gymnastics lesson? Oh. <laughs> Oh, the wee dog's reaction. Something that I love about dogs like that is like whenever they accidentally hurt you or like something happens, they get really excitable. It's either they don't realize what they've done or they're purposely trying to act excited so you don't beat their ass. <laughs> oh my God, wait, why is that dog jumping up? What is up with that dog? I can't tell if that dog's trying to attack or if it's playing. What did they give that dog? Why is it running around like that? That dog is on crack cocaine. That actually reminds me of the nightmare I had one time. One time I was in New York and I looked down and there was a rat that jumped up at me. It jumped at my face and went in to like bite me. I woke up right afterwards, but that video kind of reminds me of that. Okay, we got our girl who's singing. The cat does not look happy. It's gonna, it's gonna tug her hair. She's laughing, but it's gonna, it's gonna do damage. Watch this. That cat is not happy. Like, it's just aggressive. It's so angry. What for? By the way, this video is no audio, so I don't know what she's singing. You know, it just, like, launches at her. Why does it do that? The animals are evil. Oh, that does not sound like a happy cat. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. The cat dragged her in. The cat's like, well, I want to know how you feel about it. How did that happen? <laughs> I just don't know what happened. Like one minute she was stood up, next she was in the bath. I think the cat dug its nails into her. I mean, I'm with the cat. If you're gonna be bathed against your will, you might as well drag human in as well. <laughs> oh! At the beginning of that video, I was thinking that like the pony was screaming. That pony heard the food and launched the girl into the little bucket. I feel like animals are a lot smarter than what we think they are. I've seen videos online where gorillas literally smoke cigarettes. I'm telling you, ponies are evil. They know how to piss us off. That looks like a really nice neighborhood, doesn't it? And she's gonna have to get a very nice hip replacement. Yet again, dogs always run into people because my dog used to do it. She always used to stand behind my legs as well. Like I swear I'd be stood up and she'd just be stood right behind me and nearly fall over her. Yet again, that cat looks so happy and it's gonna bite her. Watch this. Like you'd think the cat was really happy and it just does that. I don't know how to describe it. It's like they've got bipolar. You could literally sit there, stroke it, make it feel really happy and it'll still attack you for no reason. Oh my God, this dog is really trying to snatch your wig, isn't it? It is not letting go. It probably thinks it's another chew toy. <gasps> She's proper getting yanked. But why is it about you recording that? Why aren't they trying to stop it? Your friend is literally getting assaulted, beaten up by the dog. And you're just gonna sit there and record it. Videos like that kind of irritate me, but like the ones where like someone's recording a starving or scared dog. Don't record the dog, go and help it. Oh, I think I've seen this clip. Something jumps through the window, doesn't it? Does the dog jump through the window? I think it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> That is terrifying. Why is the dog so like strong? It's like that cat pulling the girl into the tub. But it's just the way it jumps up and like it pushes the glass out. That wasn't a dog, that was a skinwalker. Okay, we got a man playing the beautiful piano. And the cat just has to ruin it. It bit his finger. If I were him, I'd get this hand and whip the cat. Yet again, he's just trying to be nice, you know, he's just trying to play the piano. And as per usual, the cat has to ruin it. I'm telling you, cats are bipolar, they hate happiness. And then it goes in to attack the camera. Like, you can't actually make it up. Cats are evil. Oh, God, what's going on here? This looks like a video that will be on another website. We got a dog. 
That dog looks like it knows exactly what it's going to do. I knew it was going to do that. <laughs> I can't. Oh, my God. It's going to go in and sniff again, isn't it? Yet again, the dogs, they just do whatever they can to ruin your shots. I mean, I love dogs like that. They're absolute angels, aren't they? But it's the fact that they just walk up and smell their privates. You see now, yet again, the cat went up to her, rubbed its head on her, and then bit her. We need to do like a study on cats. Maybe they've got anger issues. What are they so angry for? Okay, this looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, I hate clips like that. I have seen quite a few clips where people are like in the wilderness and like dogs run out in front of the bite. You'd think if you're doing stuff like that, you'd have your dog in a leash. Here we have a horse clip and that horse is launching that person into the lake. 3, 2, 1, they're going to get launched like a ballistic missile. Way hey! And that is karma for the horse. They obviously done something bad to the horse. I mean, surely if a horse does that to you, that's its way of telling you to piss off and they hate you. Look at all the love. Look at all the love. Can I have a kiss? Kisses. <laughs> oh, oh, Dan went in for a double hit. Dogs are quite sassy. Do you ever like talk to your dog and like it talks back? I remember one time I said hello to my dog and I swear to God it winked at me. <laughs> Oh, oh damn, it hissed as well. Nah, I'm sorry, that's where we leave that video there. That is enough cats attacking people, I'm sick of it. That is some animals versus humans. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, press big red subscribe button, and just I'll see you all in the next video.